fight commentary breakdowns here. The black raps is Ba Ji Chuan. He's the one that just did the combo. The white wraps under the black gloves. Unfortunately, they're both wearing headgear that's white. So again, look at the hand wraps, okay? The white hand wraps is supposed to be a kick style of Kung Fu dating back to the Song Dynasty. So it's a style called Ling Xing Tan Tui. So their style says it's 70% kick. 30% punch. Dude, that was a standard Ba Zi Quan move. That was very standard Ba Zi Quan move. I'm going to turn off the commentary. Um, the channel that I found this on was actually one of the commentators. So, Ba Zi Quan's on the left right now. Ba Zi Quan got better angles currently. Don't try to throw the Ba Zi guy exactly. If this were Sandao rules, I believe that's one point because the Baji guy still fell with him, but because he deliberately initiated the throw, it's one point, right? If he stayed standing, it would be two or three points depending on the throw. But since he went to the ground with the guy. So again, this guy, white wraps, you see, that's the supposed kicking Kung Fu style. Obviously, the Baji Chuan guy, this guy is a student of Qiu Baolong, who is a very famous Ba Ji Quan practitioner in China. So now the kicking style guy on the right is standing like a kicker, right? He's very bladed, but man, Ba Ji Quan guy taking advantage of that. What do I say? Ooh, Ba Ji Quan guy trying to show off his kicks too. Stick to your combos, man. Don't try to outkick the supposed kicking style. Unless you're trying to show a point, right? And if you're trying to prove a point, then I can't stop you, but... Stick to your style. So that was the end of the first round. Good show of respect. This was from 2017. So, okay, round two. These are Taekwondo helmets, according to the people who are commentating in Chinese. So they have Taekwondo helmets. They have smaller gloves to prevent the excuse of gloves, prevent the Kung Fu. And then no shin pads, no elbow pads, no knee pads, nothing. So... That was really interesting. The kicking style Kung Fu guy did a Muay Thai plum and managed to take down the Ba Ji Chuan guy. Not what we would expect. So, I want to see those standard Ba Ji Oh, look at that. A Psi Gua, as they say. That was a Ba Ji Psi Gua. So, some people claim the Psi Gua comes from another style, but that was a standard Psi Gua type of strike. Um, what would we call it in the West? I don't know, some kind of angled hammer fist or angled palm strike. So, Ba Ji Chuan guy, maybe because he won the first round, his coach is like, come on, use more Ba Ji. Oof, he just walked right into a jab. Ba Ji Chuan guy, I noticed sticking too orthodox with his stance. The kicker guy, the supposed kicker guy, switches his stance a lot, like a Taekwondo. He's Almost like a Taekwondo guy, you know, all these styles, right? If you're a kicking base style, you start looking like Savat or Taekwondo. Again, this is Ling Xing Tan Tui. So it's a style that goes back to some place, some um, uh, temple that was in Shandong province. Shandong. Um, oh, dude, that Baji, those were Baji strikes right there. That was awesome. So... Baji guy got better combos and better punches, right? So I think he's pretty much won this because the kicker guy has not been fighting like a Savak guy or a Taekwondo guy, but somehow his Muay Thai clinch is winning. Twice, dude, he's managed to at least frustrate the Baji guy with his Muay Thai plums, which is kind of funny. So he's saying something about the headgear is preventing him. Again... As you can see, the headgear definitely reduces your peripheral vision, right? So, absolutely. Also, look at it fog up, man. It definitely fogs up. So, I would say, guys, if you're going to wear headgear, you better have a strong neck, man. Because that's, yes, it reduces some of the impact to your head, but it increases the whiplash 
to your neck, which also could lead to even more brain damage. So if you're going to have fed gear, make sure you do a lot of neck exercises and upper back exercises and some lat exercises and some exercises in general. So that was the end of it, man. That was the end of it. I think the Baji guy won. Yep, Baji guy won. Exactly. So I looked up Ling Qing Tan Tui. Ling Qing Tan Tui. Apparently it originates from a place called Long Tan Si. So I was looking up Long Tan Si and I couldn't find the one in Shandong. But there actually is a Long Tan Si in my hometown of Chengdu. It's just like digging through any type of historical stuff. You're going to stumble on many mazes of oral tradition and non-oral tradition. It's kind of the same with locating all these temples and stuff from ancient China. There's a lot of them, and a lot of them share similar names. So this is our first time stumbling on Ling Qing Tan Tui, and I'm sure we'll look more into it. The moment I find a style, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find more matches from it. Again, we see Ba Ji Quan, its effectiveness. I'm a little surprised it had no techniques in the clinch because somehow the kicker out clinched the Baji guy. So that was surprising. But like what I always do, I will show you guys how to find this match if you know how to use Bili Bili and we will look for more. So this was fight commentary breakdowns. Keep sending me clips, guys. I have been doing a lot of my own searches, but I love sourcing clips from you guys. So send me clips, guys, and consider becoming a channel member. Channel member, press the join button. Thank you guys.